flat earth, uh, forages for grubs in the plains of flat earth. A leopard pounces upon her. The flat earther is defenseless, no facts to defend himself. He will not survive this encounter. A small tribe of flat earthers drink from the local watering hole. Suddenly, a rival group of flat earthers from a different faction approach. The group spots them, immediately rush into a frenzy. Fight or flight takes over this battle. They speak in their native tongue, which sounds like screeches to us but is really a complex dialogue. They are asking to show me gas pressure without a container. They're asking to show me water curving. Not realizing the opposite tribe are also flat earthers. Now they're asking for the smartest flat earther to approach from each tribe. The smartest of each tribe approaches the watering hole. He steps into the water, which you notice does not curve. He flails his arms around. It is enough to scare away the rival flat earth affection. Their watering hole is safe for another day. A defiant look and a screech to let them know that the earth is indeed flat. in a cool act to defy and to taunt the flat earthers. The Globers have left a little treat for them. So far the Globers have not been seen, but they have placed a globe by their sleeping hole. Let's observe as they react. inches his way towards it. With each step, he gains more courage. Some of his followers come in to assist. Eventually, their numbers are big enough that they can closely approach and interact with this object. As the flat earther scrounges for grubs, suddenly he uncovers his flat earth model under the dust. He begins to examine it, stare at it. He begins to mock it. He desires so to destroy it. But how, he thinks. And suddenly, he has a thought.
Now that he has learned to use a hitting tool, this is his moment to strike. He has the knowledge to advance himself and his tribe to the globe age.